this is one of those Sundays where all you really want to do is stay in the house and chill, but you know you haven't gotten any exercise all weekend and the weather is perfect for a walk, which is what I need to do right now. <laughs> Man, how I miss being in my 20s when I didn't worry none about this kind of thing. But like I said, the weather's nice, so let's quit complaining and just get our ass out here. Look how pretty that bush has gotten. I don't know if y'all remember, but this past spring, when the snow decided to make a surprise appearance, in the springtime, it was snowed over there. But I'll be honest with you guys, these past few Sundays have been full of nothing but laziness for me. I don't know what it is, but Sundays in summertime has just gotten me feeling like all I wanna do is chill and relax inside of the house. So that's what I've been doing. Don't really feel guilty about it or anything because I've been out and about like all through the week. I'm just out doing stuff. I'm going to these different cities and stuff. Uh, recording all this content you know I got all these videos in the works so I don't feel guilty about not getting the exercise because I'm definitely getting it going and roaming through all these cities I guess if I had to analyze it it just feels more like a waste of a day for me just being inside doing nothing at least on some of these Sundays I'm gonna try and still get out and do something walk whatever But why the random topic, one might ask? Well, it's actually a question I had gotten on an Instagram DM, and I wanted to address it here on the channel because I know a lot of people ask the same question and are wondering the same thing. Man, I love the hills around here. Look how high the hills go. You probably can't tell from the video, but that's a really high way up there. And I'm walking downhill right now. Probably can't tell. And never do what I'm doing. I'm walking on the side of the road, but it's only because I don't have that far to walk and it's barely any cars that ever come up and down this way. But always take the bike paths and walking paths. This one is like right on the side of this area here, but I decided to just walk along the street because it gets me there where I'm going quicker. But at the end of it all, I'll end up on that path when it's all said and done. As you can see, cars are passing me right by, super close. <laughs> They're probably pissed off because I'm on this road. But this is a pretty cool overpass anyway. It's got the nice red rocks like the ones I used to find in Arizona. And I always thought it's pretty cool to take a look while I'm under here. <laughs> Obviously they don't want you messing around up there. There's a sign right here. But I like the pretty red rocks. This is the other direction. And through the magic of video, I'll show you what the other side looks like. And here we are on the other side. I'm currently standing right over there, but through the magic of video, I'm on this side now. This is kind of, I guess, the center part because there is a little more to go over there, but there's train tracks right here, which I'm not willing to cross. So right now, this is going to be considered the other side. All right, let's go back over there. Man, these hills and areas of nothing but fields and dry grass and stuff really do remind me of the village that I just moved from. I mean, it was so much like this. I feel like I'm back there right now. That's crazy, son. If you're not incredibly new around here, you know two things at least by now. My take on Germany and how I feel about the country, also how I feel about New York City itself in the States. Now the way I feel about Germany most likely is heavily influenced by how I grew up in the US. It's a stark contrast. I've talked many times about this. You know how I feel about it. Which is kind of why I understand why somebody would ask the question that's been asked to me that I'm gonna present today. And I'm gonna paraphrase it, but it was more or less if Germany is so great, so good, 
then why exactly do you speak so highly of New York City and why do you say that you would live there? Now, as I said, that is indeed a paraphrase, but it was more or less along those lines, and I'm gonna address it. So here's the deal. I'm attracted to both these places for different reasons, actually. When it comes to Germany, I get to live the way that I thought I should have been living all my life. Like a lot of the differences make up for some of the things that I had to deal with growing up. So the flip flop of having such an ease of lifestyle and a less busy lifestyle and a calm down sense of living is just, it's everything to me. And for that reason, I would choose Germany to stay at as a permanent place, as a place of permanent residence. Now at the same time, I definitely understand why somebody would be a tad bit confused when I say, man, I wish I could go live in New York City or I wish I was in New York City or I love New York City so bad. I can understand the confusion with that. But when it comes to New York City, there was a time where I felt like I wanted to stay there like permanently, long term. And I don't know, maybe I still could, maybe. But there was a time when I wanted to be there permanently. Like that, I thought that was the place I was going to end up at uh, after I was done with school and I was out on my own and uh, free to do whatever I wanted. I thought New York City was going to be it. So when I finally went there, it was like I was finally fulfilling a dream for me. And luckily it ended up being a good experience, a very good time, and something I'm glad I did. But also, and I've talked about this in videos, I've always been attracted to like, entertainment movies acting you know the entertainment business as a whole that's always been kind of my thing which is kind of what led me to where i am right now with this youtube channel but because i always had that dream of living there and i thought that that was the place for me there's a place in my heart for it but those two things together always wanting to live there and being attracted to like the live scene of like new york city and like performing arts and that whole thing new york city will always have a place in my heart because of that right there even when it comes to this YouTube channel, I know that being there would surround me, surround me with more like-minded people that do what I do, this thing right here. So it's natural that I would automatically be attracted to a place like that, in my opinion. And what do we have right here? I have no idea what these are. Germans? What is this? I'm standing between all these power lines underneath them and I can actually hear the power rushing through them. The mic's not going to pick it up. You're probably picking up the vehicles in the background, but I can hear the ee going through these power lines. I'm also centered right in between them. So when I express my love for New York City and how I admire the city atmosphere and the things that there are to do and the things that there are to see, all of that stuff, that's not me saying that I feel more strongly about that than I do my current situation. I love my current situation. It's just that I love that too. And they can exist at the same time in my opinion. And so that's my take on that. I hope that was understandable. Sorry for the dimly lit cloudy day video but i wanted to address this and what better time to address it than when i'm out on the walk so thank you for listening to my little spiel and i guess i'll talk to you guys in the next video i'm gonna finish this walk take care